So all of you know that I come from a non-technical background. So I have to be very picky when it's come to learning. I can't learn anything randomly. I have to be very specific as per the demand, as per the industry requirement. All of you hope you guys are great. So let's try to understand that what are the alternative as a blockchain developer you have to build your front end. I do believe that all of you are good with the solidity smart contracts, solidity programming language, how the transaction happen on the blockchain, how you can communicate with the blockchain, what are the different protocols goes into blockchain development or a connection with the blockchains. I do believe that you have written so many smart contracts so far, which we have built a lot of project on our channel. But the point of making this video is that you have written those smart contract for what? Ultimately, you want a user to utilize your smart contract to do the transaction. So you have built NFT marketplace, you have built DeFi project, whether you have built ERC20 token, you have built your DAO, you have built your crowdfunding. Ultimately, you need a front end where your user can interact and they can do the trade on the blockchain. So for that, it's very important that you have to build a front end where your user can interact. And that's what we're going to discuss in this video, that what are the options you have to build your front end as per the industry requirement. You can't pick any framework to build your DAP. You have to know that which one is getting popular in the industry. What are the blockchain companies are looking for? What kind of front end developer or a back end developer? And on the base of that, you have to decide that which technology is relevant for you. OK, because we know that tech, why blockchain is a very vast and there is a different things goes into that. So different companies need different requirements. So as per that, you have to decide that what you want to learn and what you have to use in your project. So before we jump straight away to the framework which we can use to build our front end, I just want you to understand that how consumer behavior work, because whatever product, whatever service, whatever anything which you use in your day to day life, exist because of consumer experience we have all of these framework react next year's typescript all of these thing exists because it's provide better features so the developer can utilize it we can provide better experience to the user and that's why these framework exist so you have to know that consumer experience is everything right now we use a lot of different type of products in our day-to-day -day life and all of these products are using some sort of different technologies based on their product based on the service and that's what delivered the best consumer experience. So consumer experience is must no matter what kind of project you want to build. And that's why I highlighting this point that as a developer point of view, you have to think that which one is provide the best consumer experience. Then you're going to pick the technology which you want to include to build your app. Now let's come back to the topic that what are the framework we can utilize to build our front end app. Here I want to highlight three framework. The first one is React.js. The second one is Next.js and the third one is TypeScript. So these are the most demandable frameworks right now we have for the front end development, both in the terms of Web 2 development and the Web 3 development. So if you go and find all the companies who are in the field of software development, you will find that most of the companies are looking for a developer when, when it's come to building the front end in these three technology. So the React.js is pretty old. It was launched in 2012. One of Facebook employee who invented that. And that's bring huge revolution in the field of front-end development. Before that, we used to build our application using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And if you know that how lengthy it is to use the old way of development, because you have to write same repetitive code a lot for every single page. And when React.js came, it's bring huge changes in the field of development. Okay. So if you are totally beginner, I would suggest you to start with those HTML, CSS, and JavaScript because that will build your foundation. Once you understand those previous way of development, it becomes very easy to pick any one of this framework. Okay, so if you're a completely beginner, I would suggest to you that at least you have to understand that how the development was happening at the old time, HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Once you get the basic understanding of that, then you can switch to next say, sorry, React.js. Don't go to Next.js or TypeScript, switch to React.js because React.js is a framework which is built on JavaScript. So if you are good with the JavaScript, it's become very easy for you to start with React.js. So start with the React.js. If you're a beginner, try to understand that how React.js works because all the other frameworks, whether you talk about Next.js, whether you talk about TypeScript, they use the same component structure. They use the same architecture. There is some improvement in Next.js. There is some improvement in a TypeScript. TypeScript is the most demandable right now, but I would not suggest you to move to TypeScript straight away. At least build a couple of projects using React.js because that will open your eyes. You will understand a lot of new things and that will take you ahead in a faster way. So you can easily be able to grasp all the things which goes into the TypeScript. 
so these are the most demandable framework right now we have in the industry so again i'm telling you one thing i want to highlight that whether you want to become a full stack blockchain developer whether you want to become a blockchain smart contract developer or whether you want to build only smart contract like security developer you have to analyze that in which area you want to go i would highly recommend you to focus on a blockchain full stack development you have to know the front end because right now whatever client i have worked with whatever offers i have got they are not looking for a developer who can only build the back end portions they want you to give the complete applications so that's the point you have to understand you have to understand that you will write the smart contract you will connect with the blockchains and again you're going to build the connection with the front end so the user can interact this framework will help you a lot in your development you can access all their features and functionality which make your work very easy they have a lot of inbuilt packages javascript packages which you can easily able to integrate in this frameworks whether you talk about react js next js and typescript so it's pretty important that you have to take the step ahead if you are already good with the old way of development html css javascript and you are pretty good in that you can build you can build using those technology but it's going to be a very lengthy process and it's not performance optimized so that's the one thing i highlight at the very beginning that consumer experience is everything so try to focus in react understand react js structure folder and file structure how the props work what are the state what are the hooks we have into that so there are a couple of most frequent hooks we use in in our application like use state use effect use ref use context so these are the 10 couple of in 10 important hooks we have in the react so that's those are the things which you have to know that how you can utilize those hooks so once you understand those hooks it's going to make your life very easy so i believe that you guys have got your answer many of you guys were asking me that is it necessary that we have to use this framework or can't we build our application our DAF using the old technology obviously you can but somehow somehow when you're going to step into the real world they're going to ask you to build application build the DAP, build the application connection with the smart contract with the front end and the back end using this technology so again i'm telling you that whatever i have highlighted in this video try to do your own research on that take this entire video as an advice because this is what i have seen and this is what i have stepped into personally and i learn all this technology because all of you know that i come from a non-technical background so i have to be very picky when it's come to learning I can learn anything randomly. I have to be very specific as per the demand, as per the industry requirement. So again, I'm telling you, try to spend a little bit time, try to find out all the companies which work in the blockchain space, blockchain full stack space. Talk with them. Sit and talk with them. Go and read their job profile that what kind of developer they are requiring. And based on that, you have to start learning. So if you want to go into the security field, then you have to understand that how hard it Ganache works, what are the open zeppelin this library works oracles work so these are the libraries we have when it's come to security part and advanced smart contract if you want to go with the front-end development then you have to be very good with the web 3 js metamask and all these packages which we have which allow us to improve our development so we have to be very selective when it's come to learning the technology and be very good in that so at the at the end i just want to conclude that you have to start learning react js and once you understand everything, just move to the next years. If you understand next years, that would be enough. And if you want to take your skills, learning to the next level, then you can definitely try TypeScript. Although I'm not, I don't use in most of my project. I just prefer to go with the TypeScript next years project. Okay. So that's the only thing I want to highlight. I hope you guys have got your answer. If you still have any doubt, any confusion, do let me know in the comment section. So I try to answer all your query. Okay. With that, I'm ending this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.